Yo, what's up guys? It's Asuna. Today I'm going to show you the best tool in Apex Legends to optimize your PC and Windows for the best experience, lowest latency, and hopefully try to fix the stutters that came into Season 19 because it's been really awful. For this video, we're going to use Home.gg. This optimizes your Windows for the best settings, best performance, and a lot of tweaks to optimize not only your internet, but also this program is like a PC optimizer and Windows optimizer. One has a free option which optimizes your PC game automations, full control, reverting, and backup management. So pretty much you can make um, backups in Windows with this program and optimize your PC. It has a lot more, like apply unlimited optimizations. So in the free one, you only get limited optimizations, but even so, it will still heavily improve your PC performance with the free optimizations. Fully care about your PC performance, you can buy the premium. When you buy the premium with my code Asuna, it is affiliate link, so I do get a small per percentage. All right, so let me show you how to download it and what settings you should apply and what I personally apply for my PC. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. it. Supports Windows 10 and Windows 11. All right, I'm going to drag this to desktop. Once you have the installer, all you want to do is double click, run. Next. Next. So now I downloaded the application. Now, since I have a Hone account, because I have a plan, I'm gonna hit act activate. And it's gonna just give it a link that just says open in Hone. And I click that, and that's it. All right, you're gonna get this warning. We cannot guarantee um, a FPS boost. It's because every species is different, but you will most likely get them because they've done tests where you get like upwards of like 100% increase plus on Valorant or Minecraft. So, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. You can see like the score and the, sc the score increases your total. So if I click this, it's gonna apply the general Windows optimization. And right here, you can see what it says. This optimization offers a range of general optimization for Windows operating systems. So I'm gonna click this. You can also click it here. Once this bar is filled, it is applied. It'll ask you to restart your PC to apply. You can go ahead and apply all these before you do that. I would only apply the ones either I apply or read what they do. And if it's something you would like on your PC optimized, then click it. All right, so optimize Windows Power Plan. I'll do this. And there's little tags here to tell you what it does. So the optimization causes your power to use more power. But usually that happens in optimization. It's fine. If you have some not something you would want, like if you're, you're not on a laptop or something, then don't do it, right? But I'm on a desktop, so I have no issues with this. So I'm gonna do Reducing interpret latency and improves the performance. Windows Power Darling, I'll do that. Disable game bar. I don't want that. And you can even go up here and you can filter straight to stuff you want. So if I want to go see my internet to improve my internet, all I click is internet. And then I just click these. Allowing CPU to handle network tasks directly and potentially improving network performance. I'll do that. Alright, so now you see my score went up because I fully optimized the internet tab. Now I'm going to go into uh, interface, optimize mouse. This explorer. This. Now, this is stuff you wouldn't do um, if you want to keep it. So, feature breaking means it like disables um, a program, but this doesn't hurt your computer in any way or hurt your oper operating system in any way. This just fully disables uh, 
these things in uh, Windows. So it doesn't use like services or performance that you're not even using, right? So this is my people. What is that? I don't know. I'm not using it. All right. I, I understand. Touch settings. I'm on a desktop. I'm pretty sure I don't need this, right? So, well. Lock screen. Allows you to change the JPEG wallpapers. I use wallpaper engine. So I don't really know. So I'm not gonna touch that one. Disable Windows Search Index. I actually like the search uh, for stuff on this, so I'm going to keep that. Disable Windows Insider. I'll do that. Allows you to enable the classic right-click menu on Windows, bringing back the familiar. So I'm fine with my Windows low. I'll, I'll, I don't really care, so I'll keep it like this. All right, so now I'm at 34. That's just interface. So. Let's see, let's go to let's go to graphic. I don't have an Intel GPU, so I'm not gonna like check this. Control panel settings. I've already done mine, so I'm not gonna do this. But I'm gonna, I am gonna check the general optimization. And then I'm gonna disable this. Features. I've already done here. Actually, I haven't done all. Cortana. Don't need. For file sharing between devices on a network. So that was something we want to keep. Recommend due to outdated vulnerable tips. So this says for security, it's good to disable it. So I'm going to disable it. However, in some cases, it may interfere to um, allows you to disable it during the program's run without any commodity. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this. Disable home group. Now, like again, so you're gonna read these, and if you don't need them, you're gonna disable them, or you can, or you can just not touch them if you want to keep them. It's just it's that simple. So disable Xbox-related services features on your. Like, I'd, I'm never going to use a, a Xbox service, so I'm going to check this. And if for any reason you decide, hey, I kind of want Xbox back, remember, all you do is tap this and it, and it goes back. Disable fax and print? Definitely. Don't need that. Make sure that collects usage and, and no, I'm good. Now we're at 43 in the score. Also, once you're in once you're in home right here, if you click this icon, this is game optimizations. So for whatever game you want to apply optimizations for, uh, you can just click Apex for example, and this will change everything for you. But I've made more, um, I've made like direct guides that would probably do a better job at optimizing your game than this one. But again, if you just don't want to go through the hassle, you can go to all these and just apply for your favorite games, and the optimizations will be better than you know, having no optimizations. If you want a detailed optimization guide with the best settings you can use for Apex, you can go ahead and click the video in the top right. But for now, let's continue with the video. Okay. Hard drives. Main for read and for long drive lifespan and maintain optimal performance. That sounds nice. I'm doing that. I'm going to do this one. So this option which disables certain system function buildings because we're disabling this. And it says this doesn't break your operating system in any way. If you use this feature, you consider like, you know, looking at, like keeping it unchecked. I don't even know what this is and I don't use it, so I'm checking it. Alright, this setting, um, reducing the resources Chrome uses. That sounds good to me. Disable paging files. So, if you have a lot of RAM, um, it's just gonna be faster doing this. Like I have 32, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, if you have 16, um, it might be enough, but I would just say do this if you have 32. And that's everything I want. So I have a score of 65.5 and it goes up to 100. 
and there's stuff left here so it recommends doing the, the memory management one but for now i'm fine with this so i'm gonna go ahead and hit restart and it's gonna apply this to my pc in the video comments and the description you're gonna see an affiliate link for our home this helps support my channel and as i mentioned in the start of the video i get a small commission on uh premium users premium is 5.99 and that helps the channel. So hopefully this app can help you boost your FPS and lower your stutter rate. If you have any questions about home, go to my comment section. If you need help, I'll be there. And thank you so much for supporting my channel by using my affiliate link, uh, Premium. And that helps the channel. So thank you so much. If this content was helpful and you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Thank you. Peace.